So I think when you watch a good solid swing with the best players in the world, looks very easy. They kind of collect the ball beautifully at the bottom of the swing. They get that ball and then turf contact. And because it looks so simple, it really feels like we should be able to do that every single time. And yet probably for most golfers, when the ball's on the floor, we see a lot of this. Top shots, maybe even catching behind the ball. And I think the feedback most people get given is usually very poor, incorrect. And I'm gonna get you to avoid making this massive mistake in your golf swing and get you hitting the ball so much better from the ground. So when most people miss hit the ball on the floor, the feedback either they give themselves or playing partners give them is they need to hit down more on the golf ball. You're not hitting down. And then what I'll very often see with golfers is when they swing, they either hit down lots more and hit way behind the golf ball or Again, from the same kind of setup, they just drive the ball into the ground. And then maybe they get told, you're hitting down too much. So how do you make sure you get the club traveling down through impact without trying to hit down? So I think the easiest thing to think is, once you understand the golf swing, the club moves in a circle around the body. So as it moves in a circle, it moves up, it moves down, reaches its lowest point, and then starts traveling back up. So as long as your low point is after the golf ball, so target side of the golf ball, you give yourself the best chance of hitting a good shot. Now that doesn't just guarantee that it can be good because you could still get the lowest point of your swing after the golf ball. And if the bottom of the arc is too high, you're still gonna miss hit it. So when you look down the line at the golf swing, I think what you'll notice is, particularly for guys who get told they need to hit down more, if you hold the club straight up like a baseball bat and swing, it's, all, it's just perfectly round you. So as you tilt forward in your golf swing, that in theory puts more up and down motion into the swing. But if you're not touching the ground at all, it kinda doesn't really matter. But what you'll see with guys who try and hit down more is they don't allow the club to move around their body. They might go around on the way back, but then they'll go this way and really hit down, which is great. That's what you've been asked to do. That's what you start doing, but it actually potentially makes the shots worse. So the first thing I'm gonna get you to do without even thinking technically at all is it's set up for a practice ring, kind of in line with the ball, but I want you to try and touch the ground target side of the golf ball. So that's the first way we're gonna work on this. We're gonna say, right, from our normal address position, swing back and try and hit the ground target side of the ball. Nice and easy. And I'm probably touching the ground a couple of inches ahead, but on turf, that club would continue down into the divot. So my low point would probably be more like three to four inches ahead. Now, obviously with no golf ball, it's incredibly easy. Let's see if I can do that. So I'm gonna focus ahead of the golf ball and see if I can touch the ground. Now, not my best direction, so a push, but we see the strike a little out the heel, the low point on Trackman there showing 4.7 inches ahead. So the clubs travel down 5.1 degrees and I've hit seven iron 175. Okay, so let's go again. So again, I'm gonna focus ahead and try and touch the ground after the golf ball. So again, slightly better contact, slightly better shot, low point 3.5 inches ahead. Clubs travel down four degrees, and we carry 171. Now, if you're enjoying this video and you watch my content and you don't currently subscribe, I'd love it if you just took that second to hit the button below. Remember to ring the notification bell as well though, because then you'll find out whenever I drop a new video, usually every Monday and Thursday. And they're all here 
to help you with your game. So please, if there's something you need, comment below and I'll do my best to make a video about that. Now, if you're finding it easier just thinking about touching the ground ahead and that's transformed your ball striking, absolutely fantastic. But keep watching, so I'm gonna give you a couple of different ways if you lose that, a couple of different movement sensations you can get to maintain that quality strike. So, the first thing I would see with a lot of golfers is they get told a lot about transferring the weight. So on the way back, you see that they move onto that back foot. Now you can imagine now the lowest point of my swings way behind the golf ball. So if I don't get all the way back across, I'm gonna lose that strike. So for a lot of golfers, what we want to do is not completely stop weight shift, but just minimize it. So what you want to feel is that rather than letting that hip move away from the target, the trail hip moves back, and then as you get into the top of your backswing, you want to feel that pressure's moving left and then get the lead hip out of the way. And if you can stay more centered and then shift towards the target, that straight away will get that low point moving forward. And again, that felt lovely out the middle of the golf club. It's very windy out there, but Trackman will normalize that shot. 2.8 inches ahead, 3.4 degrees down, and 172. Now, definitely when I face to face with a lot of golfers, that little feeling of staying more centered on the way back to allow them to shift just means that they haven't got as far to move in that tiny amount of time that the downswing takes. And it is amazing how quickly that ball striking can improve. once they feel they're not moving around as much. So that went a little bit more excessive at 5.2 inches ahead. Clubs moved down six degrees, and again, 170, carry. That's a great way of feeling it, but there's lots and lots of different ways, and obviously I'm not gonna make an hour long video on this, so I'm gonna give you one other way, and maybe a movement that you already do brilliantly that can help you. So if you watch how golfers should move as I've just described in the golf swing there. One thing is when we throw a golf ball, we do it fantastically well. So what you'll see, if I can keep hold of the ball, is that when people throw, they shift a little bit into that trail leg, but as the arms get in back, they already step forward, shift, and then release. So a great little feeling is almost to imagine you're gonna throw that club down the range. Still needs to touch the ground though, otherwise that might be good with low point, but if the swing's not low enough, we're not gonna get that strike. So we're gonna feel like I'm gonna throw the club down the range. Felt quick, felt powerful. Don't panic, that doesn't mean lack of control. Still touched the ground and that felt maybe even a bit more athletic than normal. So we're gonna feel like we're gonna throw the club down the range. So again, felt good, a little push, but strike was solid, 2.6 inches ahead, three degrees down, and 165 carry. Now, again, there's different ways, and that's why I've put a couple of different drills in here for you to understand how you're gonna move that low point ahead of the ball. And this is the same with every single golf club on the floor. Obviously, short irons are very central, so you'll see the low point at its furthest forward. But as the clubs get longer moving to fairway wood, the ball position just moves forward. The low point is maintained, so it just becomes less far in front of the ball, and therefore the club doesn't move down as much with a three wood as it would with a pitching wedge. But you're not trying to hit down. So let's have one more. Let's avoid that mistake of hitting down. Let's feel like we throw the club down the range. Again, felt great. Two and a half inches ahead, 2.6 degrees down. 172 carry. And to be fair, I'd take that all day long. But next time you hit a bad shot and one of your playing partners says you need to hit down more, you know 
kind of what he means, but you know you're not going to try and hit down. You're going to move the lowest point of the golf swing ahead of the target with one of those three ways I've told you. You're going to start hitting some great shots from the floor. And you can comment below and let me know how it's been going. So guys, hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, like it and share it. Comment below and I'll get back to as many people as I can. There's another video just there that YouTube thinks you're going to enjoy. Hopefully catch up with me guys down here soon. Stay in contact.